Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a great and wonderful day. Now, there is some very crazy news that's heading out of the air, American uh, College of, uh, of Public Pediatricians because of, uh, you know, these people uh, are exposing what is happening to the children here. And I, there is a documentary that's called The War on Children. We could go and watch it together at some point in time. But uh, perhaps. I, I don't know if I'm actually going to go and do this. It's a very long movie. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that we have seen where the transgender ideology is uh, really being trying to be pushed in full force. And I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen like a lot of companies, a lot of people talking about the whole trans situation to where people are switching their logos or what have you. I just haven't seen it. Even if we go to like some big organizations such as like Cloud9 or well, esports organization, right? Uh, uh, well, Cloud9, where they haven't changed their logo from, you know, to the LGBT uh, plus logo. Like, uh, to, uh, to where, uh, to what's been going on, right? Like, for instance, we had, did you know that the Cloud9 did logo and stuff like that? Or we could go and do G2 Esports, which hasn't done it. Um, Fnatic hasn't done it. Um, a lot of these companies have not been doing this type of stuff here where they haven't changed their logo to the uh, rainbow logo. So a lot of people are pretty much getting tired of this. And what we have here from Robbie Starbuck is this saying, the American College of Pediatricians just put out a fire statement calling out all the major medical associations by name for pushing the gender transition carries on kids. They asked for these groups to immediately stop the promotion of social affirmation, puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries for children and adolescents who experience distress over their biological sex. And what we this is what this woman has to say here. We'll probably stop a, a little bit in the now a little bit. This has 52 million views. The physical and mental health effects of the current protocols promoted for the care of children and adolescents in the United States who expressed discomfort with their biological sex. This declaration was authored by the American College of Pediatricians, but really it was developed from the expertise of hundreds of doctors, researchers, and other healthcare workers and leaders who for years have been sounding the alarm on the harmful protocols that continue to be promoted by the medical organizations in the United States. Despite recent revelations from the leaked WPATH files and the recent release of the final report from the CAST review, these medical organizations have not changed course. So we are calling on these medical organizations of the United States, including the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Endocrine Society, the Pediatric Endocrine Society, the American Medical Association, the American Psychological Association, and the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, to follow the science and their European colleagues and immediately stop the promotion of social affirmation, puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries for, sur for children and adolescents who experience distress over their biological sex. In our declaration, we affirm that sex is a dimorphic, innate trait defined in relation to an organism's biological role in reproduction. Male this is what we have been telling these people for the longest time for the many of years. And now, big, uh, I would say, medical facilities, organizations are coming out and going against these atrocities. And it's about time we start facing the reality here of what these people were doing it for. And we know that a lot of these medical organizations, uh, we've seen numerous times in the reports, are saying, we're doing this because of... The mere fact we want money, and we don't care about the kids that are suffering in the background here. This doesn't even have to just be kids, but I think kids hit a, a bigger, a bigger hit home just because the kids we know are fragile. The kids we know are usually always innocent. The kids are always looking up to parents and other individuals that are adults to for guidance. And the guidance that these people give is only something that will lead them down to their own destruction if they don't go and do something. And that, that's the problem that we have here, right? And these things need to be shut down. And these people, this woman here, these, this organization, organization is, you know, uh, talking about it, spreading the message, letting them know that this type of bar barbarism needs to end. On female. 
This genetic signature is present in every nucleated somatic cell in the body and is not altered by drugs or surgical interventions. Consideration of these innate differences is critical to the practice of good medicine and to the development of sound policy for children and adults alike. Medical decision making should be based upon an individual's biological sex. It should respect biological reality and the dignity of the person by compassionately addressing the whole person. We are here defying the claims made by these medical organizations in the US that those of us who are concerned are a minority and that their protocols are consensus. They are not consensus, and we are speaking in a loud, unified voice enough. This is, this is a very uh, damning, uh, um, I would say, uh, report, uh, uh, message from the people. Because it, this is, this goes far beyond, you know, the, the fact that, you know, this is harming kids, as I, as I said there. This also has a fact that this is harming adults, too. I mean, it's uh, like you were telling the adults or the, or the weakly feeble mind of these people that this is okay, this is something to do, and it doesn't help. Uh, and, and again, as some people were saying, the tide is turning, and I believe it is. I think, um, I think the, the matter of fact is that a lot of these organizations, a lot of these, a lot of these people are pushing back. I think there's been less and less of these companies wanting to wear this pride flag type of, uh, uh stuff. And again, as I said, again, for, there's a reason it's banned across Europe. It says Norway, Finland, Sweden, Holland, uh, uh, and the UK have now banned gender transition surgery for minors. Uh, and this is what we need to follow suit to. We are not a society that butchers and mutilates children. And now I can't wait for the lawsuits to start flowing through at an, at a very strong course because of this statement here and what these, uh, and what these organizations have been put out. So also this would lead to all, and we have serious concerns this would lead to our own organizations, our own government, our own, uh, uh Congress to say, okay, we just named these uh, these uh, organizations uh, that's doing this, right? We're, we're uh, naming them all, and since they're naming them, uh, our government, our Congress can go after these people and make them stop. And I think that's something we need to do here because so many countries are banning this, and the other countries are not doing this because you know they're not monsters unless you're China. So yeah. This is this is a good step forward. Glad to hear this. And again, sorry LGBTQ plus people, you're not really in the limelight of being forced to become justice here. Um, this does not mean the gay people or lesbians because or even bi people, I would say, because I don't think they should even be part of this whole trans thing at all. I know a lot of them want to be pushed out of this. They don't want you to be part of that of that area. So I'm not trying to say that this is really narrated to you guys, but more of the trans. Um, people with that are you know trying to push their ideology and their sickness onto other people. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Let's go share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted because it's algorithmic disease. The social media.